In this video, we are discussing distinct pattern example. In the previous video, we have discussed what is the distinct filtering pattern. So, in case of distinct filtering pattern, we are not interested to have the repetition of the same key values, but we require to get a set of unique values only. So, in this particular video, we will be showing you that how to write the respective Java codes, how to compile it, how to execute it and how to get the output. So, distinct pattern example. So, here we will use the XML file that is a batches.xml file and which will find the distinct batches of the users. So, this is the purpose and this is the assignment in this particular video. So, now let us go for one practical demonstration for the easy implementation of this process. So, in this video, we are discussing that filtering pattern, design pattern under this category, we are going to have distinct filters. So, we are having the batches.xml under input batch folder with a size of 21.48 uh, MB. So, it is having so many different rows under the batches tag. Each and every row has got multiple different attributes. The attributes like your ID, we are having the user ID, name, date, class and also the tag best. So, these are the multiple attributes are there under the each and every row. We are supposed to find out all the distinct batch names, we are supposed to find out. So now let me go for the Java code, let me go for the Java code. So let me come to this Eclipse, yes. So we are having the class name that is the distinct batch MR task and here we are having two inner classes. So one is the mapper class, another one is the, the reducer class extending. So, under this mapper class, we are having the map method and also we are having this batch titles, batches title, there is a text. Under the map method, we are having this XML parsed, which is the hash map object, getting instantiated with XML to map method. You can see that this is the corresponding method, which will take the XML file as input and returns the hash map object as output and that will be instantiating our XML parsed. So, string title is equal to XML parts dot get name. So, name is the one of the attributes were there. So, find the name of the batches. So, if title is equal to is equal to null, then return need not execute the rest part of the code. Otherwise, batches dot title set title. So, you are just writing that one. You are on this batches dot title. So, context dot write ctx is the context object dot write. That is a batches title comma null writable dot get. So, in this way, the corresponding uh, batches dot uh, that, that will be written onto the context. This is my distinct reducer, extends reducer. So, within this reduce uh, method, we are having this uh, context dot write key and null writable dot get. So, key value pair will be written there. Now, let us discuss this main function. Within this main function, we, are, we are know that here we are going to have the usage will be the distinct batch MR task that is the class name, then input path, then output path. So, two arguments are to be passed. So, if it is not so, so it will exit. We have defined one job instance that is a job is the uh, object name job dot get instance. The name of the job is find the title of the distinct batches. We are setting the mapper class, we are setting the reducer class, whatever you have defined as the inner classes there. The output key and also the output value. So, output key will be of the type of text dot class, output value will be null writable class. So, from the argument 0 and from the argument 1, we are just uh, initializing the add input path and set output path, which will be passed as command line argument. Depending upon the code value 0 or 1, we can decide that whether the successful completion took place or not, and that value will be returned here. Now, this next step, which will be followed here, is to create the respective jar file. So, before going for the execution, we will be creating the respective jar file and for that purpose, we are going to go for the, uh, the respective project name, the right button click, then export and then jar. We are supposed to give the jar path and the jar file name properly and then next and finish. But already we have created the jar file, so we are not going to execute the process here again. Just going for right button click, the export then jar files and rest of the steps. Let me execute our command here. So, let me clear the console. We are going to write the command for execution, Hadoop, then jar, then we are going to give the jar file path here at first, so slash, 
to initial code for map reduce underscore design pattern then slash jar file so this is the respective path and filtering pattern dot jar is the jar file name then this is our distinct uh, distinct filter is the respective package name class name is our distinct batch emr task then you shall give the input path name so that is our slash input slash batch then the output path name that is a slash output so in this way the command will be executed so we require to find out we are required to filter out all the distinct batch names so that is our purpose in the batches.xml we had one attribute name so you see the command has got executed successfully so let me see that what the part file has got created so we shall go for this uh, root of the name node then output folder we are having this part file has got created containing the contents so let me go for the command to see the contents here so it is dfs dfs slash minus cat then slash output slash part start so in this way the part file content is being displayed so you can find that these are the distinct batch names so these are the distinct batch names we have we have, uh, we have obtained in the output file these are the distinct batch names you can easily find that what i mean uh, so many distinct batch names are there they have got selected in the output file here in the part file under the output folder so now it is a good practice to delete the output folder so that we can execute the next map reduce task so we are going to delete that one i hope that you have got the conception that how to execute this uh, this uh, program using the proper steps and all we have displayed thanks for watching